Hey everyone, it's Justin Craig from Historic Columbus with another episode of Tuesdays with Justin. Today is March 1st and we are featuring a new theme for the month of March. Uh, March, if you didn't already know, is Women's History Month. And today I've got an interesting lady to feature for you. Her name is Jacqueline Cochran. She was born May 11th, 1906. Uh, she was not born in Columbus, but uh, she has a little bit of history here in Columbus as a young child. But she was a pioneer for women in the aviation field. And there's a plaque about her at the Columbus airport, uh, which I noticed on a flight over to, uh, to Dallas a few weeks ago. And the, uh, the airport's done a great job remodeling and uh, commemorating some of our aviation history here in Columbus, uh, not only with Jackie, but also with uh, Eugene Bullard, Bullard, who we've featured in, um, in episodes past. But uh, Jackie Cochran was a pioneer for women in the aviation field with, um, with many accomplishments, as well as uh, breaking the sound barrier in 1953, which she was the first woman to do that. Um, but interestingly, she moved to Columbus when she was about eight years old, and she worked in the mills for uh, roughly six cents per hour. Uh, the hours were long and the hard was work, and it's rumored that that was likely motivation for a lot of her success later in life. She eventually became a hairdresser early in life and, uh, and moved to New York City where she got a job at a salon in Saks Fifth Avenue. Uh, after a few years there, she eventually moved to California and conveniently met a millionaire by the name of Floyd Odlum, and he, had, uh, he helped fund her line of cosmetics which was eventually called Wings to Beauty based off of her interest in aviation. But it was through a business meeting where she flew on a private plane uh, in the early 1930s with her husband that she began a love for aviation. And in only three weeks time, she got her pilot's license. And by 1940, she was already competing in different air races and advocating for women pilots to participate in the war efforts at the time. Interestingly enough, in 1945, she was awarded the, uh, the Distinguished Service Medal by the President uh, for her efforts in World War II. But let me list a couple of her accomplishments here. So she was the first female to take off and land on an aircraft carrier. She was the first, pilot, um, first female pilot to, uh, to fly a bomber plane across the North Atlantic. She was the first female to make a blind or instrument landing. She was the first and only president, uh, uh, female president of the FAI, FAI which is an international association of um, aviators. And uh, she was the first female to fly a fixed wing jet across the Atlantic Ocean. She was also the first female to fly above 20,000 feet with oxygen. And like I said earlier, she was the first uh, woman to break the speed of sound. And interestingly about that story was that she called one of her friends in the U.S. Air Force uh, to see if she could borrow a jet to break the speed of sound, which she was, um, she was not allowed to do. And then she turned around uh, determined and called one of her friends up at the Canadian Air Force. And they helped her out with a, uh, a big fast jet and uh, a team of about 16 people that helped her become the first woman to break the speed of sound. And she did that um, multiple times in her career, uh, but it first happened in 1953, all because of some motivation here by working in the textile mills in Columbus, Georgia. So with that, we will see you next Tuesday with some more features of Women's History Month.